that's the lot then, Jess. Off we go. Meow. Oh, pet! Wait! Uh, I forgot to give you this parcel. It's for Ted Glenn. Oh, thanks, Mrs Goggins. Funny shape, isn't it? Meow. Oh. Goodness me, Pat. Was that you? No, it certainly was not. It was that parcel of Ted's. Whatever can it be? <laughs> no idea. We'll have to wait till Ted opens it. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. They don't look very happy, do they, Mum? No, I'm afraid they don't. Oh, dear. They haven't been giving much milk, and they do seem a bit poorly. I'd better see if Amy can have a look at them. Poor cows. Hello, Pat. Morning, Dr Gilbertson. Oh, hello, Reverend. How are you today? All the better for a nice cup of tea, thank you, Pat. Here are your letters, Doctor. And there's a package for you as well. Um, is your tummy poorly, Pat? No, Doctor. It wasn't me. It's this parcel of Ted's. It's making some very strange noises. Oh, I see. What on earth would make noises like that? I don't know, but I can't wait to get to Ted's and find out. Bye. Bye, Pat. Strange sounds indeed. More tea, Vicar. This should do the trick for Alf and Dorothy. I just hope Pat's got that parcel for me today so I can get it finished. Don't worry, Jess. That parcel can't hurt you. What do you think, Amy? Well, I can't find anything wrong with them. They just seem rather miserable. Oh dear, what can be the matter? Maybe they're bored, Mum. I don't think cows can get bored, can they, Amy? <laughs> Not really, no. They're usually very happy just being out in the fields. They are bored, Katie. I'm sure they are. Yeah. <gasps> Come on, I've got an idea. Go on now, you sheep. Get away with you. Shoo! Shoo! Will you look at that, Dorothy? They've started on me broccoli now. Oh, dear. Hello. What's going on here, then? Oh, Pat. We're in such a pickle. The sheep have taken a liking to our green vegetables, Pat. Yeah, see what you mean. Oh, no. Shoo! Leave my cabbages alone, you naughty sheep. What are you going to do? Ted's inventing summit to help. He'll be along in a bit. I'd better get over to Ted's now, then. I've got a very noisy parcel to give him. Good luck with your vegetables. Thanks, Pat. Hey up, what's that? Oh, it's you, Pat. You don't sound too good. <laughs> it's not me, Ted. It's this parcel of yours. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, what's in there? It's been scaring poor Jess all morning. What's in here, Pat, is 
a set of bagpipes. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I can't. They're for me Ted Glenn automatic sheep disperser. Watch. Hmm. The sheep go into the vegetable patch. They like the look of this juicy giant cabbage and move towards it. <coughs> they step on these bellows and... The sheep will run away, and Alf and Dorothy's vegetables will be saved. <laughs> That's amazing, Ted. Well done. Thanks, Pat. I'd better get this down to Thompson Ground right away. Good luck. Bye. Go on, you start. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I'll do it. <clears throat> Good morning, cows. This is your lucky day. Just for you, Tom and I would like to perform the exciting story of Little Red Riding Hood with puppets. I'm going to take this basket of cakes to Grandma, Daddy. Be careful in the forest, Little Red Riding Hood. Don't stop and talk to any big bad wolves. I won't, Daddy. See you later. Mwah. I don't think they liked it. Shh! Oh, it's very dark in this forest. Hello, little girl. What have you got in your basket? Are you a big bad wolf? Yes. Then I'm not allowed to talk to you. Go away. No, no not you. I was talking to the big bad wolf. It's no good, Katie. I just don't think they enjoy theatre. I knew we should have done Cinderella. Oh, wow. That one's just had me best be true. Come on, Ted. We'll have no vegetables left at this rate. Don't worry. Nearly there. And if this doesn't do the trick, I'll eat me hat. There. The cows are going to love our skateboard tricks. Yeah. Come on, cows. Come and watch this. You go first, Tom. Ta -da! I think she liked it. Let's see what she thinks of your stunt then. Did you enjoy that? Oh. Huh. Honestly, I don't know why we bother, Tom. Those cows are just cranky. Hello, Katie. Hello, Tom. Oh, hello, hello, Pat. Pat. I hear you've been trying to cheer these cows up. They don't want to be cheered up. No. They're just cranky cows. They certainly don't look too happy. What on earth's that terrible noise? <laughs> That's the Ted Glenn automatic sheep disperser. Ted's using bagpipes to scare the sheep away from the Thompson's vegetable patch. Our cows don't look scared. You're right, Tom. Hmm, I wonder. What is it, Pat? I've just had an idea. I'll be back soon. Oh, they're not scared at all. I just don't understand it. You'd better start eating that out of yours, Ted. 
did those birds come from? Oh, Eck. It's attracting them, not scaring them off. Ted? Alf? How's it going? Oh, it's a disaster, Pat. Oh, dear. Ted, can I borrow your bagpipes just for a short while? You can <laughs> take them away for good. Thanks. Bye. And hopefully you'll take the crows with you and all. I was sure those bagpipes would do the trick. Well, I never. Oh, your invention worked after all. You just needed a different sound, Ted. Hmm. <gasps> Here he comes. What's that funny thing? Bagpipes. They're a musical instrument from Scotland. What's this good idea of yours then, Pat? Well, I noticed your cows seem to like Ted's bagpipe sounds and I thought maybe they were missing their home in Scotland. It might cheer them up to hear some Scottish music. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I'm not sure I can, but I'll give it a go. <coughs> Here goes then. Pat's making rude noises. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice, Pat. Look at the cows. They love your music, Pat. <sighs> Thank you. I think you were right, Pat. The cows were homesick for Scotland. And the bagpipes made them feel better. I'll pop in every now and again and give them a tune. Will you play some more now, Pat? Of course I will. I think even Jess likes the bagpipes now, don't you, Jess? Meow. <laughs> Is there a letter?